welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway and I'm sure that you know that by now, but uh, just in case you're new, I'm here for the whole of 2019 doing On This Day in Tudor History videos, just giving you some snippets of Tudor trivia, births, deaths, marriages, baptisms, lots of executions unfortunately. And this this series is inspired by a book I wrote called On This Day in Tudor History. I wrote it a few years ago. So on this day in Tudor history, the 27th of February, I'm taking you back to towards the end of King Henry VIII's reign um, to the 27th of February, 1545, when Henry VIII's English forces were defeated in battle by the Scots. Now, this battle was called the Battle of Ancrum Moor, and it took place near Jedburgh in Scotland. Now, this battle was part of a war known as the War of the Rough Wooing. Um, this war was between 1543 and 1550. And the aim of the war was for the Scots to agree to a marriage match between the infant Mary, Queen of Scots, who had become um, Scotland's queen when she was just a few days old in 1542 after the death of her father, King James V, and a match between her and Henry VIII's son, Edward, the future Edward VI, who had been born in October 1537. So that's why it's called the War of the Rough Wooing, because it was all about um, England putting pressure on the Scots to agree to this marriage match between their queen and Henry VIII's son and heir. Now, at the Battle of Ancrum Moor, where the uh, English forces were defeated by the Scots, the English army actually outnumbered the Scottish force uh, by two to one, but the Scots had a bit of an advantage. Um, Scottish chronicler Robert Lindsay recorded that the Scots pikes, you know, their spears, were significantly longer, and it's thought, I think, that they were about 37 inches longer. I'm not sure what that is in centimetres. Um, than those of the pikes of the English soldiers. And Robert Lindsay writes that the Scots had them all riven down before ever the Englishmen's spears might touch them. So before the Englishmen had even you know, reached the Scots with their, with their spears, with their pikes, because the Scots' forces' pikes were longer, you know, they'd, they'd killed the uh, Englishmen already. The English forces um, then scattered when they uh, apparently realised what was what was happening. That you know the Scots pikes were having that effect, and the numbers killed. Some say that around eight hundred were killed. Others say between five hundred and six hundred, while another hundred, I think, were taken prisoner. Um, the Scots suffered few losses. Um, because of their wonderful uh, pikes. Um, and this battle where the Scots defeated the English brought about a temporary lull in the war. Now, the battlefield doesn't have any proper memorial or plaque or anything saying, you know, that the Battle of Ancrum Moor took place here. But it does have some kind of marker. It has a stone um, called Lilyard Stone or the Maiden's Tomb. And this is set on the battlefield on the summit of Lilyard's Edge. And its inscription reads, Fair maid Lilyard lies under this stone. Little was her stature, but muckle was her fame. Upon the English loons she laid many thumps, and when her legs were cut it off, she fought upon her stumps. A.D. 1544. So, according to this battle legend, a young woman called Lilyard fought at the Battle of Ancrum, 
following the tragic death of her lover. And there it says, you know, little was her stature, but muckle was her fame, so she was courageous. And even when they cut her legs off, she still battled on on the stumps of her legs. Yes, you can see why it's a a legend. Um, So that is the legend associated with the battle. But the Royal Commission on the Ancient and Historical Monuments of Scotland notes that there is, however, plenty of evidence to show that the place name was established as such long before the date of the battle. And that it was called that, called Lilyard's, um, you know, Lilyard's Edge, um, or had names associated with Lilyard, or very close to that word, uh, at least um, you know, as far back as the the early twelfth century. So this story really is apocryphal. It really is just um, a legend. Oh well. There wasn't this brave woman called Lilyard who fought on the stumps of her legs. You may have noticed that when I read out that inscription, I said AD 1544, you know, dating the Battle of Ancrum Moor to 1544, not 1545. Well, that's because the calendar New Year, I mentioned this um, a few videos ago, the calendar New Year in the Tudor period began on Lady Day on the 25th of March, not on the 1st of January. They still had New Year's Day on the 1st of January, which was... um, It celebrated the Roman tradition of New Year and Tudor monarchs... um, swapped gifts with courtiers and celebrated New Year's Day. But the calendar year, the official start of the year, did not start on the 1st of January. It started on the 25th of March. So this battle took place before the 25th of March. So it was still in the year 1544. Very confusing, I know. It's really confusing when you're looking at Tudor tombstones and Tudor documents for events that happened between the 1st of January and the 25th of March because you do have to keep in your mind all the time about Lady Day. Very confusing. So that's what happened on this day in 1544, the 27th of February, 15, sorry, 1545, going back to my Tudor year there, Henry VIII's forces were defeated by the Scots at the Battle of Ancrum Moor in Scotland. Thank you for joining me. Do subscribe to the channel by just clicking on there and you can hit the bell as well to be notified as videos go live. Thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.